Do I have less than successful experiences with startups? Unfortunately, yes, but I think those are great learning opportunities. In the past, we've worked with some startups whose products did not pan out or we couldn't find a market fit. But throughout the process, um, as a corporate partner, we ended up learning a lot about our internal processes and creating documentation for them that didn't exist before. I think especially if you're changing and you're trying to put in innovation, um, you really need, the employees need to see that there is not punishment for that failure because failure is going to happen, but it has to be productive failure. So when we go into a, a POC or you know starting to work with a startup or whatever, it's about setting those success measures that are not necessarily tied to the ROI or how much of this or that are we going to generate revenue wise, but more what specifically are we trying to learn? And then did we learn that? Because there's a lot of value in figuring out what doesn't work versus what works and we just build from there. The challenges that we've had with the startups when they do occur, it's, it's primarily the old communication skills or the lack of communication skills. It's, it's pretty rare that the product just flat out doesn't work to, to the expectations you have set. Again, it's communications. Do, do people follow through with commitments? Are you able to get the right uh, information from the startups as you begin the process? And so the thing that we've been challenged with the most when we have POCs that pilots that don't work as successfully is communication issues. The thing is, uh, the, the fail fast thing is not shocking for a big company as long as the fail is small and quick. And that's the spirit, right? When a company grows big, it searches for efficiency. And the only way you get efficiency is looking for failure and problems and solving them. It's part of a, a normal company to look for failure. Any idea uh, needs to be matured through the process. And uh, out of 100, you know, we would get 10 uh, successful. And that's pretty much what we have gone through uh, in, in our experience internally. So uh, as we work with uh, startups, uh, we s see similar uh, experiences, but I think that's all good because it helps us to learn what does not work. Uh, so they're never a failure, right? So uh, we see that as a very constructive process. So we had some failures. I had some failures in the past that the technology was not at the point that we were thinking. And then um, the corporate was really saying like, ah, you see why we should not work and give some trial to startups. I don't, I don't consider this as a failure, but I consider this as a transformation in the culture. And this needs to keep going. I think this is the most difficult part. You need to try. And when you try, you have two things. You have 50% chance to succeed or to failure. So failure should not be considered failure. When you're testing something new, new technology, a new company, you need to adapt. You're not used to this. So I think failure is something that on the technology world, you should be able to understand, accept, and then move forward to new trials. Plug and Play does a really good job of vetting vendors to start with. So up front, we learn a lot of information about who the founders are, their success stories, and their, their capabilities. And through that, we have added confidence with who we partner with.